Hey, what's going on, my friends? This is Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. Uh, I am excited. Hold on a second. All right. Hopefully, you guys can hear me just as well or better now. Um, had to get all my microphones set up on a new computer this morning. Uh, welcome. I'm also in a new office, and I'm getting that office set up. You can see there's some of our Legendary Marketer Awards and so forth that are behind me and hopefully I can get that stuff set up and organized one day in the near future. Um, but this morning let's, let's, let's handle the, uh, the task at hand, which is that we have yet another member of our community, student client, somebody who's a marketer, somebody who's been, uh, who's familiar with marketing, been in the game for a while. We're going to talk a little bit about the journey, talk a little bit about what he's doing now. Look, if you're brand new to this, Wake Up Legendary Universe. If you're brand new uh, to uh, Legendary Marketer in general, Ryan Higgins, good morning. I'm seeing some people pop up on the screen as well. Good morning, good morning. Uh, John Sinclair, good morning. Randy Hilton, good morning. Sylvia, what's up? Hey, get down in the comments, show some love, and say good morning. Say hello, not just to me, but to your fellow Legendary Marketers in this community. Look, there's also a way that we can text you a little reminder every morning. So you can get a reminder on your cell phone if you want to just uh, text this little number right down that we're going to flash on the screen right now. You can text WUL, stands for Wake Up Legendary, to that number, and we'll give you a little reminder before we go live uh, in the morning just so you can have a, a, a little reminder uh, if you're anything like me. Sometimes I get a little bit ADD. All right. So with that being said, we're going to bring in our guest and get to the conversation. I've not talked to this guy, met this guy before. I popped on 60 seconds before we went live. So everything that you're hearing, I'm going to be hearing for the first time. With that being said, let's go ahead and let's welcome Jason Fulgham to the show. What's up, Jason? How are you doing, Dave? Dude, I'm great, man. How are nice. you? Doing great. Uh, kind of early for me because I work till 10 o'clock at night usually. So I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So did you have some coffee? Uh, I have yerba mate this morning, actually. Okay. Get it after a mug. Okay. <laughs> what was that that you're drinking? Yerba mate? Yeah, it's it's a tea. Ah. A little more gentle than coffee, you know. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I need that. I need that diesel, man. I need that cool. high octane. I like to get like to where I'm like tweaking, you know, in the morning. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that works for me. <laughs> All right. So where are you, where are you at? What and what do you what do you do? What were you doing until 10, 8, 10 p.m. last night? Um, I was working at Sprouts Farmers Market. Okay. I don't know if okay. you've heard of that. Um, mm -mm. I'm a yeah. vitamin clerk. Okay. At the moment, so I had a full time week this week, forty hours. So, um, and that's where's what I'm doing. What state? California. Okay. Wow. All right. So it is 7 a.m. there. Yes. All right. Nice, man. California. Cali love, baby. Yes. Have you lived there all your life? No, I grew up in Oregon. Okay. And then I spent uh, eight years in the army. And this is actually where my wife is from. It's the only reason why I'm here. I got you. Right. What branch of the army? Or uh, You were in the army, you said? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Awesome, man. Well, uh, dude, I'm, I'm thrilled to talk to you this morning, um, hoping that we can exchange some ideas and um, provide some experience and, and value for the people that are listening. I know I was reading up on your questionnaire. You've, you've been in the game for quite a while. Um, yeah. Just you're familiar with the game. You've been sort of off and on, and uh, somehow you landed at Legendary. Let me just ask you right off the bat, why, what, what attracted you here? Why are, why are you... Why are you, um, what made you get involved with us? Was it something that I said? Was it something that you saw? Was it, was it just some random occurrence? Give us, uh, give me, uh, an understanding of what attracted you to our community. Well, I think it was a lot of different things. First of all, there's a lot of big marketers promoting legendary marketer. So that makes it attractive. Like, okay, a lot of people are in legendary marketers. So it must be a good system. Um, and then going through the challenge, you see that because I've been in the game so long, you know, I'm, I've been kind of dabbling, you know what I mean? Yeah. And 
seeing what you have in this system, it it's what you need to learn, you know, to get started in a, in affiliate marketing and marketing in general. Yeah. And uh, also, I like how it looks. <laughs> yeah. Like your cool. your your image for the Lidrain market is really cool. So yeah, the brand it helps. Yeah, the branding really is is helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to we're about to take that branding to the next level too over the next couple of months. So you'll see some cool stuff come out. Um, so awesome. So you've you, what do you think? What do you what do you think? Um, explain to 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 us what you've seen. You've been in online marketing for the past ten years or so. So what have you seen um, that's been that's that's been uh, the opposite of what you experienced here. What have you seen with other systems or companies or gurus? Is it a matter of them giving you one piece, not the other? Is it a lack of community? I mean, what do you think's been some of the major problems with this industry over the past 10 years since you've been involved in it? I think number one is staying power. You guys have started a few years ago, but you, you're, you're staying there. You know, you're not disappearing. You're consistent with the content you're putting out um because there's a lot of people that are not really consistent they'll come do some stuff and then they'll disappear for a little while and come back but you're always always there putting out content um it's I don't know, it's just very different from any other system i've seen Nice, man. Well, thank you for all those kind words. So yeah, so I've experienced that too. I think that's been one of the motivations for me to, to be consistent and not, you know, what I've experienced in the past 10 years with various gurus and companies and, you know, whether it be training or income opportunities is somebody will be a charismatic leader, right? They'll attract somebody to a product or a program and then exactly. six months later, six months later, they kind of disappear for 30 days and then they pop back up and all of a sudden they're launching or promoting something new and taking people into a different direction. And mm -hmm. it ends up confusing people and taking people on an endless rabbit trail of uh, this is the new secret. This is the new ground floor opportunity. This, the, you know, hot, hot, shiny object, shiny object. And it burns people out in what's even what's even more ironic is I get the, the, the ability to have had a lot of conversations with a lot of these charismatic leaders and, you know, quote unquote top producers. And they're also burned out. One of the, one of the uh, phrases that I coined a, a while back, uh, and I had heard it from somewhere, but I sort of, I feel like I brought it back to, to be on the forefront is, is preaching the dream and living the nightmare, you mm -hmm. know, uh, behind the scenes, they were not as happy. So, um, so you and I, I can identify with that. And that's one of the reasons why I think I have, um, a, a mission or a commitment to be consistent now, um, for you, uh, anything that you would add to that? I, I want to get into, to some other things, but I, I want to always make sure that I give you the last word, anything that you would add to, to that particular, uh, topic. I just keep doing what you're doing, Dave. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great system and it, it's working. You know, we got great reputation as far as I know. Thanks. So, well, we can't be perfect. Important. Yeah. Well, we can't be perfect, and 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 there's always going to be people out there that are not fans, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've gotten better over the years. You know, also we've learned a lot. I think that's one of the things that I like to share with with everybody is the fact that uh, I've learned a lot of lessons along the way. I've learned about I've learned things about marketing. I've learned things about compliance. I've learned things about longevity. I've learned things about leadership inside of our company and also in the field with affiliates and, and clients. So, you know, um, yeah, we're all always constantly evolving. And I think Legendary is getting better. And we do have a plan to be around for a really long time. So I appreciate the, the good feedback, the kind words. Um, so, uh, you've been, you've, you've kind of got in now and you're in, in your, you've gone through the challenge and you've gone through some of our training and you've seen some of the marketers in our community. And, um, you've also turned around and become an affiliate for legendary, which we're thankful for. And we're, we're happy to be partnered with you in that way. And, um, maybe you've, you're, you're an affiliate for some other things too. That's, that's fine, but I can track your results here and you've gotten some results here since you've been in, involved in our, in our community. So that's cool. And from what I understand, you've done that with YouTube. Is, is that right? 
Yeah, just YouTube. Product reviews, okay. actually. Product From reviews. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about that for a little bit. Is that something that you did before, or or is, is that something that you've always done? Have you always um, done YouTube marketing, or is that something that's fairly new for you? It's actually fairly new. I started about a little over a year ago. I was doing... Uh, well, first I started with some product review videos to get comfortable on camera uh -huh. and then, um, to really get it going, I started doing product launch, launch jacking specifically. Launch jacking. Okay. Yeah. To where yeah. something was hot and launching and you created a review for that and tried to rank for that keyword. Exactly. You see like a calendar of products that are coming out, you get in contact with the product owner and then you attempt to uh, do a product review before it comes out. And then the day it comes out, you make a video or have a video released. Okay. Day. So you can and get, you know, basically head in the search results for the most part. Sure. Sure. Right. And, and how did that work? Was that, was that worth the time and effort or was that something that you, you don't do as much anymore? I think it was more worth just to learn how to make videos and get on camera. In my opinion, for me, um, it works for a lot of people in the long run if they stick with it, but you have to stick with it. And I didn't really stick with it. So okay. kind of failed there. But um, I continue making, I, I stopped for a while, then I continue making videos later on. Um, and then I, I got a job, right? Because we needed money to you know help support the family. I wasn't making enough online. Mm -hmm. um, so I, my video production dropped off. Yeah. And then you can see that on my channel. Um, but I just recently got a big sale on Legendary. So it kind of pushed me and motivated me to, you know, make more videos. And I'm, I want to get my you know, business up and running. And I'll probably, you know, I, I get inspired by um, Nathan Lucas. Yeah. Or he, he, he was full time military. Yeah, and he went and he made a video every day off when he got off work, you know, no matter how late it was. And that, that's hella inspiring for me. Right. <laughs> it's what I want to shoot for. You know, actually, I talked to him uh, on Zoom not too long ago for like an hour. And, and he was telling me what he did to do it. And and I think I think I can do it. I just got to have the mentality, you know. Yeah, I know you can do it. it. You're right. It is. It is mindset. So let's talk a little bit about that for a second. Um, and Nathan's awesome. He's a, he's a, he's a great oh, yeah. friend. He's our first diamond affiliate here. And mm -hmm. he's been, um, somebody who's contributed content to our training courses and so forth and our masterminds. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's, he's awesome. He's incredible. We actually should, should have him on the show. I don't know if we've ever had him on the show. Um, I think you have. Uh, yeah, maybe back, back a little while ago, but we need to have mm -hmm. him on again. We try to put people who are, you know, from all different, you know, levels of newness and, and success and, and all that kind of stuff to show, show people that it's not just people who are getting, you know, these huge results that anybody can, can do it. It's just a matter of, you know, modeling the right practices and, 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 and being consistent. And like you said, overcoming some of the mindset challenges. So getting comfortable on camera, Walk us through that journey a little bit and, and tell us what that's been like and, and where you were at uh, when you started or what, you know, what that's been like and then where you're at today with that. Um, I'm probably still very uncomfortable. Um, probably a year ago doing like this interview, I probably would have freaked out and probably not done it. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh -huh. um, it, it's really hard for me. I'm like, honestly like I was telling Matthew at the beginning, I was, I'm <laughs> sweating right now because I'm, I'm so nervous, but you know, I'm, you got to get uncomfortable to, to get past that, you know? Yeah. Get used to the uncomfortableness. I actually had a, a interview uh, with, uh, I forget his name right now. Uh, hold on. Oh, whoops. We lost, we lost you, buddy. I think he may, uh, <laughs> Matt, we lost him. We lost him. He's gone. <laughs> oh, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> hey buddy, we thought you, ran away. We thought you ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking about it and I had to disappear. <laughs>
Oh man. No, I, I was saying I had an interview with Brian Brewer uh, about okay. two weeks ago on his show just to give me prep for this, you know? Oh, nice. So it was, it was helpful for sure. Nice. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Brian is awesome. Oh yeah. You mentioned a lot of people who are part of this community who are, who are awesome marketers and awesome people, man, you know, good people. I think it's important to find a, a, a group of people who, who you um, can feel supported within and you don't feel less than or shamed. I think that's a big, I think that's important, man. I mean, maybe others, you know, want to be shamed and they get their ass kicked into submission and then that somehow motivates them. But I, I just have never found that. I, I, I know how to be hard on people. I know, I, I know I've had people be hard on me before, but we got a lot of good people, good supportive people in this community. And we don't, we have zero tolerance for any shaming, blaming, um, uh, uh, you know, chest puffing, any of that BS we, we have. And you're mentioning a lot of guys, uh, and there's women too. There's, there's just as many women actually, um, right. this, tend, this, this tends to become, look like it's a male dominated industry. And in some ways it might be, I, I, I don't know, but we have a lot of great women marketers and entrepreneurs in our community too. So you're mentioning a lot of people who I really admire and respect in our community. And, and it sounds like you're associated with the right people. Um, so cool. So are you, are you finding your, how are you? So did you find Nathan, for example, and Brian and, and get connected with them or, or use them as indirect mentors? Cause that's another thing that we have to acknowledge is that we can have mentors and I heard this powerful thing the other day that your mentor chooses you. You don't choose your mentor. And, and the way that that works is that you actually show up and you, you, know, you work hard and you see how you can be of service to somebody else. And they actually want to help you. They choose to help you. But then there's the other, and you know, that's the opposite of a lot of what we, how we, you know, I'm going to get a mentor and I'm going to, I'm going to ask them, or will you be my mentor? And they're just going to say, yeah, I'd love to mentor you and the other thousand people that asked me to be their mentor. So that's, that's thing number one. Then, but what it sounds like you're doing is you're, you're using some of these people as indirect mentors, meaning that you're listening to some of their content, you're learning from them, you're modeling yeah. from them. And then as a result, somehow you're getting in, you're having conversations with him. Brian did an mm -hmm. interview. Nathan talked to you. So you're then coming into that to where you're being a good mentee by listening and learning and taking action and probably commenting on their videos or being of service to them, right? That's one way that we can be of service to each other online right. is to leave a positive comment or something like that. And then these guys are saying, hey, I'd like to interview you. I'd like to help you. So what I just said, do you see that playing out in, in your business here recently? Or or have you experienced, t talk us through how you've got associated with some of these people that you're finding mentorship and getting support from? Uh, yeah, probably watching their videos like constantly. Uh, you learn a lot from them, uh, you know, making comments. But I think uh, the emails also, when, when uh, sometimes when they send an email, I'll reply. You know, and he kind of gets familiar with you as a person. Um, so I think that's one one thing that really helpful for me. And that's how I got to, you know, talk to, to Nathan. Uh, he was testing out his Zoom one day and uh, he's like, hey, can you get on a Zoom with me? Because I'm testing it out. And <laughs> next thing you know, I'm talking to Nathan for an hour. It was pretty cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah I think... I think there's a lot of power and I think that a lot of people miss opportunities by just not um, by just not taking a risk to communicate with somebody by just yeah. not replying to an email or leaving a comment. There's a lot of you who are listening to this who are just you're just wallflowers. You know, you're just sort of blending in. You're just sort of kind of hiding on the sidelines in this is an active business. Any business requires you to be active. It requires you to network. It requires you to, 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 to talk to other people. Even if it's, even if you have a more automated business online, talking to other marketers. And it's, and it sounds like you're doing that and you're benefiting from that and you're growing as a result. Even if it, whether it was the conversation with Nathan or the comp or the interview, the pre-interview with Brian getting yeah. ready for this, it sounds like 
that even that interview with Brian helped you to be more comfortable today. And that was a result of what? How did you how did you get in 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 within Brian's radar? Uh, just watching his videos, um, getting in his groups on mm -hmm. Facebook. Uh, you, you know, it's, a lot of these guys have Facebook groups and stuff you can get into as well. Mm -hmm. um, usually, you got to like purchase something of theirs to <laughs> to get in, or you know, or purchase like uh, something they're affiliated with. Right. Um, but that's basically how I did it. Mm -hmm. so. Cool. Cool. All right. Awesome, man. So um, I, I like, I like, so when do you step up and become the leader? When do you launch the Facebook group? When do you, uh, do you see yourself on the, on an equal playing field with these guys that we're talking about? I very much do. Um, I think it's, I do see that. I kind of visualize that a little bit. Good. Um, but I think it's just stepping out of my comfort zone. You know, I'm like, I'm talking, it's like I'm talking on camera right now. I'm, I'm getting out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. and that's a huge step for me because mm -hmm. I can get uncomfortable really easy. So um, I think that's probably the biggest step is just like telling myself I can do it. And do you know your patterns and do you know your, your, do you know, well, that's it. Do you know your patterns of what you do when you get uncomfortable and when you retreat? Do you know what that looks like? And do you know what that feels like? So you can identify it when it begins to happen. Yeah, I think you could say that kind of like, yeah, there's that feelings I'm getting right now, you know, I'm like, I'm sweating, you know, and, and it's basically my heart rate goes up, you know, and that's, that's how I can tell. <laughs> and I get kind of nervous about what I'm going to say and you kind of like rehearsing, you know, the things you're going to talk about. It's the only way to get through it really. So have you ever heard me tell the story about the two people with similar symptoms? No. So I can't, I don't know who was doing the interview, whether it was Tony Robbins or somebody like this, but he was telling this story. And it's one of my favorites to tell is that he was talking to a lady and she said, oh gosh, when I, when I'm getting ready to talk and, and speak, you know, because of course public speaking is like the number one fear of anybody on earth. Like as if you take people are more afraid to speak publicly than they are to die. Mm -hmm. So she said, she said, when I, you know, get it, get ready to talk in front of people, I, my heart beat goes up, it starts racing on my palms, get sweaty. I start, you know, like a faucet, I'm dripping from everywhere. And, and I literally, my stomach gets butterflies and I feel like I'm about to pass out. And that's exactly how I know I'm about to screw up. And he one time was all okay. So he one time was also interviewing Bono, who's the lead singer of U2, one mm -hmm. of the largest bands in the world. And you and I were familiar. Some people that are a little younger go, well, "Who's U2?" Uh, I feel like an old guy saying that, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but but he was interviewing Bono, and and Bono said, "You know, before I get ready to go out on stage and rock the crowd." My, I, I get my heart starts racing. My palms start sweating. I start drenching from all over. I, my, I get butterflies in my stomach. And that's how I know that I'm ready to go out on stage and rock the crowd. Damn. <laughs> you just called me out, man. I'm ready for now. <laughs> Two exact symptoms, but each person attached a different meaning to those symptoms. That's, that's perfect. Exactly what I need to hear right now. You see that? And, oh, and yeah. you know what? I want to share something with you, Jason. I still have the same, the same things that happen with me too, dude. When I'm getting ready to do an event or I'm getting ready to particularly an event. I mean, these I'm pretty much in a routine and quite frankly, I, you know, sometimes I'm rushing to, to get in front of the camera at 10 a.m., but man, I, I, I go through the same things. I, 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 what I call it future tripping, right? Tripping about the future, trying to rehearse and all this. And there is a power of visualizing mm -hmm. because, because when I visualize myself crushing something, when I visualize myself doing something and just killing it, you know what I mean? Right. I really, there are, have been studies that have been done that prove that, visualizing something gives you similar practice as physically doing it. There's a basketball study to where 
guys visualized shooting free throws and then a part of the team actually shot them. And there was a similar result when they actually went to go and shoot that they they both had the, the practice that they did, one visualization, one real practice, actually created similar results in terms of, of, of how they were able to shoot baskets. Um, but but I, I just want to tell you, Jason, just before we, we wrap this up, that you know sometimes you may look at somebody like Nathan or Brian or me or whoever, whoever it is, and say, oh, they must not have feelings. They must be sociopaths. They may not, must not have, you know what I mean? Like, oh, they don't right. have fear. They don't have, but dude, we have, I have fears and anxieties and butterflies in my stomach. But you know, those are the things I've attached to the meaning to those things that tell me that's how I know I'm alive. That's how I know that I'm ready. Exactly. And if I didn't have those feelings, Jason, then I would question if there was medically something wrong with me. Because, mm -hmm. and I think that so many of us spend too much time comparing our insides, how we feel, with somebody else's outsides. Because you're sitting there feeling how you feel, and you're looking at how I act, and you're thinking, we must feel differently. But you don't know how I feel inside. I may be tripping right here with crippling anxiety. And quite frankly, I do have anxiety. I do have anxiety. My hands sweat all the time, right? I do actually struggle and battle with anxiety, right? Right. But and, and, and it's just a daily issue. It's just something I just, I'm not here to, I don't want anybody to, you know, me to feel like I'm saying that, oh, I'm, I'm stronger than you, or I just deal with it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just letting you know that I deal with it. You do with whatever information you do with whatever that information that you want to, but I want you to know, Jason and everybody else who's listening that I struggle with those same things and have struggled and battled with them over the years. That's all I want you to know. Thank you, Dave. That was very helpful. You're welcome, brother. Thanks so much for carving out the time, even though you, you know, worked until 10 o'clock last night. And also thank you for your military service. And also congratulations to you for doing what you have to do to bring in money. Sometimes, guys, we have to go back. We get a job. We do whatever we have to do. And there's absolutely no shame in that. Look, a lot of us are here with no previous entrepreneur experience. We're here with with no training. We didn't have, you know, look, we're all just doing the best that we can trying to figure this out. And sometimes we have to go back. We have to get jobs. We have to do whatever. And we just continue down the path of just continuing to try to improve ourselves, build our business, and do the best we can. And so congratulations on doing what you have to do, okay, by getting a job and then hustling still on the side for your business. It's an honorable thing, right? See how I'm attaching positive, yeah. empowering meaning to that. Right. And I truly believe that. So good for you. Keep up the great work, brother. And I'm looking forward to seeing you grow, helping you grow, having you back on the show and hearing more updates about your journey. Okay, buddy. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. And I, will, I will have some success in this company. I'll tell you that. The us right. leaderboards. Sounds good, my brother. I can't wait. And no matter how long it takes or what it takes, there's room for you here, brother. You can do it and we'll support you every step of the way. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, man. See you later. All right, my friends, that is it. My name is Dave Sharp. I'm the CEO of Legendary Marketer, and I'm supported by an amazing team here behind the scenes who we get up every single day excited to serve you guys and help you to become the best, most legendary marketers and human beings that you can be. So go out there, have a kick-ass Monday. We appreciate you. We love you. Be legendary. See you back here tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern time.